Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show an easy DIY seat starting system. Okay, so this is going to work similarly to an air garden, but it's just using stuff you can build yourself. I've got a tote from Lowe's, 5 gallon from Amber XL. These are on sale at Lowe's the other day for $3.68. I think they're normally like $5. And my plan is to put some little small one inch net pots over where each of these squares are. I'm going to use um, the Sansi 30 watt grill light above it and Air Garden sponges, one inch net pots, CZ Garden brand. That's what they look like. They're about half the size as an Air Garden basket. If you have air garden baskets already or you want to just prefer to use these, this system will work for these. You'll just need to use a larger drill bit. So I'm going to use a one inch hole saw for these one inch net pots. And if you're going to drill for the air garden baskets, just use a one and a quarter inch hole saw. I'll put those notes in the description. So basically it's going to be DWC setup. And I'm going to got this cheap aquarium pump from Walmart. And I'll put a link to some on Amazon that probably a little bit cheaper just as well. But I'm also going to use these small air stones and some air tubing. So I'll put links to all of these parts in the description. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started putting this together and we'll show how it works. I'm going to have the pump here just sitting on top. I'm going to drill two holes around here for the air tube. So I'm going to use most of these for growing. So I'm going to do 18 holes. Any of these that can easily fit. I can always expand it later. That's what I'm going to go with for this. So I'm going to use a one inch hole saw. And the way I typically drill plastic with the hole saw, is this little starter bit here in the center. I'll start it in the forward position until that penetrates and then I'll put it in reverse. It makes the drill a cleaner hole. So I'm gonna do that for each of these. So these are all done. So I'm going to drill two quarter inch holes for the air tubing. I believe that is all the drilling. So we'll get this assembled. We'll show you how that works. Tubing that I use. I got it on Amazon. I like it because it really grips on the these little things. And this is, you can really just cut these with scissors or something that I use, use um, these to cut with. I want this to hang down in the bottom, so give me a little bit of length for the um, pump. So I want to make it this long, leave that in like that. And I'll just use this piece to measure for the other one. I'm using these little cheap air stones from Walmart. And push these through. And these just attach. I've got the brand of this tubing. I really like it because it, like I say, it really grips on that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just kind of loosely connect it for now, just to show you how it looks. This one's right on the edge. Yeah, I'll probably just trim this edge a little. From there, thin enough to let enough light in, it could cause algae later. So I'll probably, for now, just cover this with aluminum foil using the air garden sponges. What I'm going to try to do, since these are so short, I'm going to try to cut these in half. Now I can use only uh, this kind of spread my sponges out twice as much. So I'm going to try that. Save on sponges. So what I need to do now probably before doing things is go ahead and cover the uh, lid with aluminum foil just to block out light. Although for short term use this is probably just fine. So what I did after that is fill it with water. I want the water to come up just to the bottom so it's going to wick up into the sponges. Um, actually there's one more thing I need to do for all of that and that is make a mount for my light. So what I want to do is try to mount this right here through the, the lid and the edge of the tote. And then I'm going to clamp, clamp my light onto it so it'll be kind of hanging above. So let me do that one part real quick and then I'm going to push this down through. Oops. I should have taken those out. But you kind of see where, where it's going to come through it. And then I'm going to use some Gorilla Tape and tape this on here. Oops. 
didn't quite work as expected. See, I cut into that a little bit. So, I mean, I couldn't fill past this point. So, it's probably going to be a problem. I went a little too far in. So, if I hadn't gone quite as deep, this would be perfect. Learning as I go along, it's a mistake happens. Fortunately, I bought a bunch of these. I'm going to reattempt this on a new one, not go so far down. And then I'll just trim it out with a knife. Okay, let's try this again. This is a brand new bottom. I kind of see what I was going for. I need to cut this part out. Let's try it again. I just won't go so, go so deep. Should be a little better. And this one did not go as deeply. Take a knife, cut this across here, and it should be just fine. Keep doing this. I'm just be really careful when you're working with knives. And this cuts in here. A little snug, but I kind of wanted a little snug. So I'm using a clamp light. I can still swing it out the way I need to. So I'm just gonna so it comes down. Just take some gorilla tape on this. That'll hold it steady. Great. So all the hard work is done. Now I just need to uh, cover this if I'm going to, and fill the water to the right level, and then add the nutrients. This is going to be used for seed starting. Pepper seeds. I want to use a diluted nutrient, probably around 200 ppm ish, and that should be fine. So I've got this put together. See the light I've got attached there, and held together with some martas, and uh, put some aluminum foil. On the back side, I added a T fitting and a couple of pieces on the sides, and that added a whole lot more stability to the light mount. And then I added a piece of gorilla tape on each side, and then one across there. And I just need to add the water and nutrients next. Okay, so I'm gonna add, add the water first and get it to the right level. So what I'm gonna do is just grab by the sides, and this will just come up like that. Okay, so I'm gonna start filling this up. When it gets closer to the top, then I'll put the lid back on and get just the right level. Okay, so I've got three gallons in here. Okay, so I got that zoomed in real tight on the uh, holes here. It's so way you to see, like, we want to basically come up a quarter of an inch up inside the, the bottom here. I'm just going to fill until that happens. Okay, that's good. So I used almost four full gallons. All right, so I've got the pump turned on. All of the baskets are in. Now I just need to cut the air garden sponges and put my seeds in. We'll be ready to go. Okay, so I'm ready to start my seeds. And what I do, just to organization and to keep up with what's what, I'll just kind of map out. So I write each seed type in the corresponding place. Then I've got the seeds for that right here. I'm going to cut these in half. So I use one sponge for two of the baskets. I'm just going to cut this in half. Of course, the bottom end is going to be a little more narrow, but that's okay. This is the, I need to make a hole in this one. So I'm going to use this little tool here. You can use whatever. So I'm going to take this thing in there like that. And it gives me uh, something to stick seeds out in there. It's about, about the same depth as these are. I usually do like at least three. So what I do is just kind of drop these in here. Take something like this, kind of tamp them down, make sure they're seated really well. The reason I do more than one, in case one doesn't sprout, and sometimes I usually get two, all of them germinate. And I can either just clip the ones I don't want, or I can carefully extract them if they're young enough, and then put them in something else. Drop that, and then I need to put it in um, the fish pepper. So I need to drop it in this location here, which I'll do that real quick. Okay, so this is fully operational now. Um, I've got the light going, and my seeds have been started. The air stands work really well. I have four gallons of water in here, and I added about a half a teaspoon per gallon of Dynagro 795, and they got the PPM up to about 200, so it's a good seed starting strength, and when they start to grow, I'll increase that over time. And these I just started, so they're not all filled out yet. Let's see how they look. These will fill out a little bit. They may not fill out all the way, but they'll expand some. Okay, so um, it's been about, I think, seven weeks since I started seeds in this. And I've got it turned off right now just to kill the noise from the pump. 
Peppers are doing very well. Got the light still about this height. I've been kind of adjusting it up and down for the plants. Plants have been growing pretty quickly. Nice size and kind of an overhead shot. And I've got some other small plants just sitting on here catching the light. These look very, very good. See the roots there? And I see stink bugs. These guys are no good to have around. So they look from the side. Let me lift this up and show you the roots. Really nice, wide looking roots. Very healthy looking. Just wanted to wrap this up and share that with you. Looks like it's working very well. Uh, one thing I may do differently the next time is cut the bottoms out of these one inch net pots just to make it easier to pull them out. Uh, I got the tip from BD Beats. He uses a system similar to this and this is something he learned. Yeah, I think it's a very good system. And it doesn't look as pretty as an air garden, but it does work very well and it costs a lot less to make. So um, anyway, hope you like that, found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.